Okay, welcome to this video. I'm gonna be ranking every single Lana Del Rey song. Um, I think I've listened to most of these. So yeah, I'm just gonna rank all of them. So let me just get started. Okay, um, first one, Ultraviolence. Ultraviolence is amazing. It's really good. I <laughs> um, I love the bridge of the song. I love her like little monologue in it. It's really good. So yeah. I don't think it's the best though, but it's still really good. Shades of Cool is also amazing. I just like her voice is incredible in that song. I know I love it. Okay, Brooklyn Baby. I, everyone, okay, sorry. Everyone thinks it's overrated, but it's literally just popular. So I'm putting it in amazing too. Oh my god, this is gonna be like all amazing. West Coast. Maybe I feel like I overplayed this. Like I remember I got popular on TikTok, and I was like, wait. I need to listen to this more. So then I like literally overplayed it a lot last year. Sad Girl. See, I like I like the bridge to Sad Girl, but um I don't think it's on par with those four. Pretty when you cry, same thing. Like the bridge is really good and like actually the guitar in this song, no, I'm still putting it very good. I honestly money power glory i don't really care for that much it's like I, I just don't listen to it that much the the weekend remix like the the alternate version with the weekend is if that was on here i would put that in very good because the weekend and lana make such good music and he sounds great on the song but yeah i don't like the i don't like that version that much also it's, it's like four minutes long like i'm sorry i don't it doesn't need to be that long same thing with this one like it's i don't know i uh, yeah just not feeling it old money though really 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 good the other woman also like pretty overplayed i'm just gonna put this in okay actually okay i feel like i'm being too harsh it's good um i did overplay it though I don't really want to rank that one because I already have West Coast ranked Black Beauty. Amazing. Guns N' Roses. Um. See, I don't like. I feel like it's overhated, but I don't listen to it. <laughs> Florida Kilos is good. I like it. I like listening to it in the summer. Flipside is amazing. She needs to put it on Spotify. And I don't think I listen to Is This Happiness? Um, Young and Beautiful is definitely one of her best songs wait for life okay i haven't okay i feel like a fake fan i haven't listened to these songs i know they're on youtube though um i know that sweet samples this but i honestly haven't listened to it i don't really like that song but i haven't listened to it enough to rank it summer okay i think i watched a music video but I don't remember. <laughs> Born okay, okay. We're skipping these because I don't I don't know them enough to rank them. Born to Die is amazing. One of her best. I don't know. I don't think I'd put it in like the top ten, so I'll just put in amazing. Off to the races is very good. Some of it I feel like it I don't know. Some of it's kinda weird. Like the I don't I don't know. Something something's off about it. Blue jeans is very good. I really like that one. <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew, I overplayed it, but I'm not gonna discredit it. It's still really good. Video games, I feel like such a local, like putting all her like best, like most popular songs in the best, but video games is probably the best song on Born to Die. National Anthem is just good. I don't, I find it kind of like gimmicky, but Dark Paradise, it's like same thing. I don't know. Her her voice sounds kind of weird in the chorus. Radio, I honestly like this one. It's a good feel good song. Carmen, I'll just put that in good too. I don't listen to Carmen that much though. Million Dollar Man is just good too. I know it got popular in TikTok, but honestly, that didn't really change much about it for me. Summertime sadness. Um. I'll put this in very good. I like the bridge, but it's really pop sounding. I can see why it made the radio. This 
I honestly don't like the song that much. Um, same thing with this one. God, I, I'm sorry. I hate the song. Like, it's not catchy. It's, it's just like, it's just not good. And plus, I don't like her, like, Lolita obsession and, her, like, her earlier music. It makes me a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I don't, I don't want to put that any higher than that. Lucky Ones, I used to really like the song, but then as I listen to it, I'm just like, the the chorus i don't know something's okay i'll put it in good though i think it's better than these two i don't know if it's i feel like it's like the same as these ones but i'll just put it in good okay now paradise ride it's either amazing or the best i think i'm gonna put in the best i think i'd put this in our top 10 american is very good i really like american that's also like a really underrated song by her cola I really like that one. <laughs> the first verse or the first line gets clowned a lot, but I think it's really funny. And I really like that song. Body Electric is um I'm putting good. I don't listen to it that much. Oh my gosh. I think this is a cover. I love this song so much. I honestly think it's better than a lot of the songs in very good, so I'll put it in amazing. I really like that one. Okay, see, so like, this is where, like, Paradise just gets okay for me. I don't like Yayo or Gods and Monsters. I'm sorry, I really don't like these songs. Bel Air is good. Frick. Bel Air is good. I like it better than the other songs in Paradise. Um, Burning Desire is also good. Um, yeah, but these songs, I don't really like that much. Okay, Honeymoon. Honeymoon, I think is my least favorite Lana album. I'm sorry. I know, like, Honeymoon gets a lot of love, but for me, it just has a lot of, like, okay songs. Like, um, Ultraviolence and Born to Die have, like, um, like, a lot of high points, you see, like, but, like, Honeymoon just has a lot of, like, just, like, good points. Like, nothing, like, too, you know, amazing. Honeymoon is a good song. It's six minutes long, though, and it gets kind of boring, but I like the, um, like, the little orchestra in the beginning. It's really good. Music to watch the, to watch, I can't read. Music to watch boys to, um, okay. This one, I don't really like that much. Terrence loves you. Okay, actually, I really like this one. This one is, goes in very good. I don't think it goes any higher because I don't think it's on par with these ones, but it is a really good song. God, I don't like this song. I really don't. Okay, no, it's not, it's not not good. I just don't like it that much. Hi by the Beach. I do like this one. I'll just put it in good, though. I like the... I like one of the verses in it. I don't feel like saying it. Okay, Freak. This also gets a lot of love, but I don't really like it that much. Art Deco was really good. I'd say I put this in very good. Like, you see, like, none of them are amazing but there's like good songs on it if that makes any sense this is an interlude i think so i'm just not gonna rank it so i'll just put it in not good okay um religion this has like i don't know everyone likes the song i think it's good i don't listen to it that much though salvatore is a really good song honestly this is probably one of her best this is like this is the best song, Honeymoon. Okay, what was I saying? Um, Salvatore is the best song on Honeymoon. That okay, this is like I feel like a local, but it's like honestly a lot of her most popular songs are her best songs because like, you know, the ones that are most popular they're not really popular for a reason. Let me just say that. Okay, the blackest day. See, this has one of my favorite Lana Bridges, but the rest of the song is pretty bland, so I'm putting it in good. Also, it's six minutes long. It does not need to be that long. 24, I don't like this song that much. Swan Song, same thing. It has, I swear, the only people who like adore the song are the people who like the title. It has a good title, but I don't really like the song. I also don't like this one. <laughs> okay, I kind of am a honeymoon hater, but it does have Salvatore, so okay lust for life i think this is like my second least favorite album by her i'm like 
being really pessimistic but okay it has some it has some really good songs though love is good i think this is actually very good i'll put it out there lust for life is also very good i really like i really like the weekend and lana's work that i don't they honestly go really good together 13 beaches is just good i think this is on her set list if i'm not mistaken for her like um music festival that she's doing cherry oh my gosh i love cherry i think this uh, okay mm, okay i'll put it up there it deserves it okay my finger is getting like tired from moving all these things okay white mustang okay see i like this song but it gets so repetitive when it just says why am i staying you know like over and over again summer bummer summer bummer is overhated i really like the song groupie love also really good um her asap rocky's like all of their like features together are really good um the unreleased one is their best one though i don't i think like rocky's like label didn't want him to release it though which is honestly really really disappointing mm, i don't like this song <laughs> i don't like that. it's like the like the trap beat on it and everything it's just super messy i don't really like it coachella is i don't like this song either this one's kind of iconic but i don't like it <laughs> I honestly haven't listened to this in a hot minute, so I don't really know. I'll just put it in okay, though, because I don't know. Isn't that Stevie Nicks in it? I think it does. Uh, Okay, see. Okay, here's the thing with um, Lust for Life. It has some really good songs, like these. But then it also has some, like, very, like, low points in the album. Tomorrow Never Came is definitely one of her best songs. I would put that in the top ten. It's also, like, I don't think it's that popular. It's pretty underrated. Heroin is good. I used to like this song a lot, but then I just kind of got bored of it. Change is okay. I, don't, I thought, see, I got heroin and change mixed up one time, and I thought I was like, change, but then I listened to change, and I was like, it's not that good. Okay, Get Free, one of her best. Okay, I did replay this, but, it, but I'll put this in Amazing. I don't think it's one of her best anymore just because I overplayed it too much. Maybe I shouldn't base it on that, but I am. <laughs> okay, now getting, honestly, I was going to say her best album, but Ocean Boulevard might be her best, honestly. So Norman Rockwell is amazing. See, this is where it's going to get like most of them in the amazing. Norman Rockwell is amazing. Marriage Apartment Complex is one of her best songs. Dude, I like can't. It's, it's just so annoying having to bring them up. Venice Bitch is also one of her best songs. It's like the longest song that she has, but it doesn't feel like that because it's just so good. I love it. Fuck It, I Love You is not my favorite from the album, but it's still really, really good. I really like it. Doing Time is a really good cover. I don't think it really fits the album's aesthetic. I mean, it okay, it fits the aesthetic, but it doesn't really fit the rest of the music in it because I think she she said that like she made it for Sublime's documentary, I think. So I think they just asked her to put it on the album. So it doesn't really fit the rest of the album. Love Song is kind of boring, but I still really like it. Cinnamon Girl, kind of overrated. Um... I, think, I don't think it's going to age well. It has that, like, trap beat. Like, that weird, I don't know. Very Jack and not, though. <laughs> um, How to dis This is one of her best songs. This is the best song on Norman Rockwell. Pretty easily, for me at least. The lyrics are so good on that song. California is underrated. What am I saying? C California is underrated. I really like this one. I used to not like this song that much, the next best American record, but I do really like it now. I think the trap beat will age good on this song. Not on Cinnamon Girl though, but on that song it's gonna age well. Um what was I was gonna say, oh yeah. The the other version of the song is also really good. I think it's called Architecture. The greatest 
is amazing. It's so good. I love the greatest so much. Bartender. I think this is on her set list. Um, I like it. It's really good. Happiness is a butterfly. This used to be my favorite Alana Del Rey song, but um, I overplayed it again. Okay, it's still it's still amazing though. I'll put it in amazing. Hope is a dangerous thing. It's very good. See, look at none of the Norman Rockwell songs are below very good. This is like it's just a great album, honestly. Okay, Chemtrails. Chemtrails is underrated. I love Chemtrails. It does have some like okay songs. White dress is good chemtrails the title track is one of her best songs i know it got popular on tiktok i don't care it's still one of her best songs tulsa jesus freak i don't like the song that much but i was i still listen to it more than i listen to like these songs let me love it why did this why does this song get hate i think it's because people are upset that like pink champagne wasn't a thing but i like this version more i can't lie this song is really good it's amazing sorry i really like that song i think like the raw like not a lot of instruments makes it a lot better than pink champagne in my opinion i don't know i just i just like it better wow that heart is also amazing i love this song so much Mm, dark but just a game this used to be my favorite chemtrail song but i'm just putting in very good now because i think that um these songs are better than it not all who wonder are lost this one's good i like this one yosemite i think it's underrated honestly i really like this one breaking up slowly um i think i like this one i don't really remember i haven't listened to chemtrails in a hot minute dance till we die is good get free is one of her worst songs i think Maybe I need to re-listen to it, but it, I don't think it's good. Okay. Now, her first album is not on Spotify, and I don't really feel like downloading all the songs because I don't think it has a lot of good reviews in it. So, I'll just rank the ones that I know, which is, like, the popular ones. So, Kill Kill is very good. I really like that song. I don't... Okay. I think I listened to Oh Say Can You See, but I don't really remember it um pawn shop loose is also very good see like some of the songs in this are really good okay put me in a movie it does make me uncomfortable but i still think it's good smarty is very good i really like that song okay wait what why is oh yeah why wasn't cruel world okay cruel world cruel world is really good Wait, are there, okay, never mind. I'll put that up with these. Cruel World is also underrated. Like, it's the first track on Ultraviolence, but I don't really see people talking about it. Okay. Mm, I don't really feel like ranking that. I'm sorry. Stargirl Interlude. I know it was the TikTok song, but her and The Weeknd are so good together. I don't even like The Weeknd, but their songs together are really good, so... I'll put it in amazing. This just like isn't even her song. I don't. <laughs> I know she's on it, but I don't feel like I don't feel like ranking these. Okay, textbook it has that weird um, Black Lives Matter line in it. I, think. <laughs> I don't know. Blue Banisher is just like a weird album. Like none of the songs are like cohesive. It is kind of underrated though. I, I I like Blue Banisters um blue banisters i don't listen to this song that much i'm sorry i know people i know like whenever i see rankings like people love this one i don't know oh my gosh why did i say it like that um anyway arcadia where did it go oh it's right there easily one of her best songs her i think arcadia is my favorite vocal performance from her out of like all her albums like it's just so good i don't know it's a really good song the song is really okay i forget what song this is after but it is just really good um i know it's an interlude but i don't really care flag bathing suit i don't listen to the song 
you lay down with me is one of the best songs on blue banisters i'll put it in actually not amazing it's really good though beautiful i don't like this song that much it has her voice is really pretty on it but other than that i i don't really like it that much violets for roses is good i like it i think this is um an unreleased song for a while dealer is also good it it is overrated though i know it's like i think it's the most popular on this album but yeah okay thunder is the best song of blue banishers it is so good i love it oh wait actually arcadia i don't know which one's better but they're both really good wildflower wildfire that is i can't say that um this one is good nectar of the gods is also good i i had a phase of this song during the spring i loved it living legend it has that really funny like um thing that she does with her voice like make it like a guitar i think that's so like genius and so funny at the same time i don't know she would she would do that though cherry blossom also used to be unreleased i think it's really good wait thunder also used to be unreleased i'm that makes me happy that she released them sweet carolina is good okay same kind of thing with honeymoon like it has it has more high points than honeymoon though anyway oh <gasps> her newest album oh my gosh i literally adore this album so much it is just so good like she's one of those artists that with time and her voice maturing like her music just gets better and better so i'm putting the grants honestly i think the grants is one of her best songs it has some of her best lyrics and like conceptually it's a great song with all of like the things that she does with her voice in comparison to the lyrics i think that is a really 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 good song the title track is also really good i don't think it's one of her best but i think it is amazing okay this is gonna be the same thing with like nfr sweet this is such an underrated song the lyrics and the bridge of the song are literally incredible like she talks about how she wishes she said some stuff, so she writes it down, and that's literally what the bridge is. It's all the things that she wish she said. I love it so much. Honestly, is it better than these songs? I don't know. I think it's better than the title track, though. Honestly, I'm putting this in one of the best. It's I, Maybe I'm, like, having, like, recently biased because I've just been... I recently analyzed that song, like, a couple days ago, so maybe I'm just... Anyway... And W, this honestly also, okay, Ocean Boulevard might be her best album actually, and W is also one of her best songs. The switch up in the song is, okay, when I first listened to that song, when it first came out, I think it came out like Valentine's Day or something, maybe, maybe I'm lying, I don't know, but it was an experience. I don't feel like ranking that, I, I've listened to that like once. Candy Necklace, I used to not like the song. I don't know, but I really like it now. I think it's... Frick, where was this? Um, wait, where'd it go? Oh. I think it's better than these songs, though. So I'll put an amazing. It's really good. Don't feel like... Okay, Kintsugi is good. I don't I haven't listened to it that much, only because it's kind of, like, slow... And it's six minutes long, I think. Fingertips is good for what it is. I It's like spoken poetry. There's not really like a melody in it. It's also just really depressing, so I don't listen to it that much. But I, I see her vision with it, though. Paris, Texas is kind of overrated, but I still think it's really good. Um, This song is so incredible. Oh, my gosh. Um, This is amazing. I don't think it's one of her best songs. But it's definitely one of the best on the album. Um, just like all the symbolism in the song is genius. And her family themes throughout the album, especially on this song, come together so nicely. I love it so much. Let the Light In is her best song. It's her best song. Like, how can you not think that? It's, it's just so good. Oh my 
Todd. Very much her best song of all time. Margaret doesn't get enough love. I really like this one. I think, I don't think, it's kind of grown off me. I used to really like it when I first listened to it when it came out, but it's kind of gone down, but it's still a great song. Also, the tribute to Jack Enoff is really good because he did produce the album. Fish Tale is good. I don't see myself putting it any higher, though. Peppers is also good. It's overrated. Um, Taco Truck. Oh my god, I can't talk. Taco Truck is also just good. Only because I like the beginning of it. But the lyrics are just pretty funny. They're not really serious. Um, I like the tribute to Venice Bitch, though. So, then... I love this song so much. It's such a pretty song. Her and Father John Misty just work so well together. I'll put this in amazing. I honestly think it's a great song. And anyway, that's my ranking. Didn't feel like ranking these ones because I don't really listen to them that much. But yeah, that's my ranking of Lana Del Rey's songs. Like and subscribe.